Dada, you're home early today. Yes. Now you can finally play with me. Yes, that's why I came early today. I heard you complaining to mummy the other day that I don't give you enough time. I don't change my routine even for a single day, right? So see, here I am just for you. Today we'll play the game of quiz. Is that okay? Anything you say, Dada. But we'll also go out in the garden, right? Yes, of course. We'll play the game and we'll go to the garden also. Okay? Yes, I'm very excited. All right. Now tell me, Piyu. You said I don't change my routine. Can you tell me what is the meaning of change exactly? Yes, of course. Change means um aha. Uh -huh. Change means a thing or a state which which does not remain the same for some reason or due to something happening to it. Right, absolutely right. So today can we have a quiz about change? Hey, is your friend Arnav home? Shall we ask him to join us? Wouldn't that be great to have one more player? Okay, I'll call him right away. Yes. Till then you have your tea. <laughs> okay, so now I'll tell you both something about change. And then you will answer my questions. Okay? Whoever gives the correct answer get one mark. Alright? Okay. So now, do you know how this tea that I am drinking is prepared? Oh, I know. Hmm? First we add some boiling water. And then we add sugar, ginger and tea masala to it. Okay. And then after stirring it, we add some tea leaves. And then boil it for some time. Then we pour it in the cup using a sieve. And then add hot milk to it. The perfect tea is ready to drink. Perfect. You are a very observant child, my dear. <laughs> now, uh, now tell me, can we separate out or get back all those ingredients from the leftover after sieving the tea? No, Dada. How is it possible? Mm, okay, then let's dry it and then try to separate. Is it possible? No, Dada. We took out all the tea extract from the powder by boiling it. Nothing is left in it to use again. And did we not dissolve the sugar in it? It's all in there in the tea that you are drinking. How can we get it back? Absolutely. So this means the chai powder or in fact any of the ingredients cannot be converted back to its original form. That is why this is called as irreversible change. How did it happen? Naturally or by us? By us. So it's called a man-made change, right? Correct. But it's a good change, isn't it? See, we love the tea prepared in this way. So, it is called a useful change. Now, can you tell me one example of natural, irreversible and useful change? Now, my turn. Raw mango ripens to give me yellow, juicy, sweet, yummy mango in summer. The thought itself is mouth-watering. <laughs> Absolutely correct. Clever boy. Okay, now give me one example of natural, irreversible and harmful change. Come on, quick. Whoever gives the answer, get one point. Come on. Dada, I know the answer. Huh? I saw the pictures of flood due to heavy rains in Sangli. So many animals were dead. It was very frightening. I cried a lot when I saw the news on TV. Correct. When there are earthquakes, droughts, tsunamis or hurricanes hitting coastal area are all examples of natural irreversible changes creating disaster. So now, can you think of any man-made irreversible and harmful change? I know the answer to this question. Cutting trees for making paper. A teacher told us that you should remember to use paper wisely and should not waste it because a lot of trees are cut and it takes many years to grow trees again. Hence, scientists are looking for different options of raw material for making paper. Also, cutting trees increases the temperature Remember, Dada, we used to go to that hill during our vacations? How pleasantly cool it used to be. I still remember riding my bicycle back then on the earthen road. There were huge trees and we used to sit and chat in the shadow of those trees. Okay, I understand your point, dear. So, we discussed about natural, man-made, irreversible, good and harmful changes. Now, how would you like it if we could have a magic wand? What would you like to change first? Mm, Dada, if I had a magic wand, first I would grow all the trees back to the same height. I will make small earthen roads along the concrete road on the hill so that I will be able to ride my bicycle and enjoy the shade of the trees throughout the day. There are many things I would like to change like... Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, dear. 
I understand what you are saying. Okay. I'll tell you some other day about the efforts people are making around the world to correct some of the man-made mistakes. But for now, let's talk about some changes which are easily reversible. First, you tell me examples of change and then how that is reversed. All right. Okay. So now who will tell me the answer first? Dada, hmm. it's simple. When water kept in a fridge becomes ice and kept on a gas for boiling becomes vapor. Correct. So if you decrease temperature of water below zero degree, it turns into ice. And if you boil it beyond 100 degrees, it starts getting evaporated. What happens when you heat or keep the ice at room temperature? It melts and gets converted into water. What if we could collect the vapor in a glass vessel and allow it to cool? Uh, will it get converted into water again? Okay, now we'll do a simple experiment. Okay, I will drop two cubes of ice into this glass. Okay, okay. Now tell me, what did you observe in this? Is there any change in the color of the water? Test this water. Is there any change in the test? No? no? No. It is the same. This is called reversible physical change. So when we can change a substance back to its original state, we call it reversible change. And when the properties of the substance do not change, even if the state of the substance undergoes change, we call it as a physical change. Now, can you tell me an example of a change where properties of the substance change permanently? It's a bit difficult to answer this, but let us think. I got it. We boil the milk and then we make curd with the cream, which we stir rigorously to get butter, which when heated gives us ghee. Now, we cannot get milk from ghee, which means it's a permanent change, right? Absolutely. Such change is called a chemical change. The change which gives birth to a new substance with different properties other than the properties of the original substance is called as a chemical change. Also, there are certain changes which happen quickly and there are some changes which take time to happen. If a fruit falls down, it's a quick change, but to ripen a mango takes time. You know, child remains in the mother's womb for nine months before it is born, right? Now, one last question. Hmm? You know there is always a day after night. P.U., you have seen meteor shower. Can you tell me when will be next such shower happening? No, Dada, do you know? No, dear, we cannot predict when it will happen again. Such change which once happened cannot be predicted whether it will happen again and if it happens, when will it be is called non-recurring change. But you can definitely tell when will be the full moon or new moon day, right? Such changes which happen in specific interval are called recurring changes. Understood? So, Piyu and Arnav, can you tell me what types of changes did I tell you about? Natural, man-made, physical, chemical, recurring, non-recurring, useful, harmful, radical, slow, reversible, irreversible, Right, absolutely. Now, when I spell out a change, you will tell me what it is in all these six types of categories. Okay. For example, if I say I am suffering from acidity, then you have to tell me whether it is natural or man-made, physical or chemical, recurring or non-recurring, useful or harmful, radical or slow and reversible or irreversible. All right. Ready? Shall we start? Okay, petrol from crude oil, making Ganpati idol from plaster of Paris, copper vessel turning green, graying of hair, coloring of hair, burning of camphor. So now I think you have understood all the changes that occur and how they affect our day to day life. Correct? Okay. Challenge. Collect information about climate change and the temperature rise around the globe. Discuss with your friends and teachers 
what measures are being taken to face these changes and how you can do your bit to deal with the change.